Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, guys, we're going to do something really different, something I have never done here on my channel, but we are just going to sit back, relax, do a nice little chit chat while I play with some slime. So you guys want to see what this box is all about, what type of slime I got, and just honestly, just to sit here and hang out with me. Well, then definitely keep on watching. Okay, so I literally, I'm not going to lie, I have so much content to film within the next two weeks. I literally have a whole page written down of every single video that I have to film, and it pretty much takes up the next 10, 10 or 11 videos of mine. So the next two weeks are gonna be full of nothing but makeup reviews, and I just honestly just wanted to sit back and just relax for just a moment and do something a little different that's just not about makeup. I mean, obviously I do have a makeup channel. I love makeup so much, but there's more to me than just makeup, and today is just one of those days where I am just so tired that I don't really feel like putting on makeup. Like, you guys ever have one of those days where you're just like, I don't wanna put on makeup? Well, today is that day, but I still want to like hang out with you guys. So I figured why not unbox this little slime box that I got. I paid for this and I'll talk about this in a minute, but I just want to sit back, relax, catch you guys up to date with my life and plans moving forward and all this stuff. So yeah. Um, so I recently came across this company back in May and it's called Snoop Slimes. And it's about this girl. I want to say she is... I could be wrong, I could be wrong on the age, anywhere between 16 to 18 years old, and she created her own slime company, and it has blown up on TikTok. When I tell you these slimes look so captivating, I'm not going to lie. I stare at the TikToks, I stare at the Instagrams. All I wanna do is get my hands on these damn slimes, because it looks so compelling and so much fun to play with, and me personally i have horrible 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 anxiety i have suffered from anxiety for almost my entire life and sometimes it can be really really consuming so one of my biggest forms of therapy to release my own anxiety is doing something creative whether it's coloring in my adult coloring book whether it's etching whether it's like doing like a scratch off etching style adult book whether it's reading or playing my sims or any video games or it's all about ASMR. I have openly talked about ASMR on my channel for a very long time. I love ASMR so much. It's really gotten me through a lot of hard times and it's just so relaxing. I listen to ASMR every single time that I edit my video. When I take naps, when I'm reading, when I'm just doing anything around the house, I always have ASMR playing at all times. I find it incredibly, incredibly soothing and extremely relaxing and it just helps me get out of my head. Slime is one of the biggest forms of ASMR there. So is kinetic sand and all these different stuff. And I've always wanted to dabble in playing with ASMR myself, but I just never had the courage to do so. And then I saw this company and I was like, oh my God, these slimes are so freaking beautiful. They're so captivating. I just wanna crush them and play with them and really help to relieve my anxiety. At the same time, maybe try to make some ASMR noise. So why not just do both? I know this is not an ASMR channel, but I just wanna have fun, sit back, play some slime and talk to you guys. now. I will say that this slime is so popular that nothing is ever in stock, okay? I came across this company in May. I just got my hands on my first slime. They cannot keep anything in stock. It's so frustrating. So they do offer different type of variety of slimes throughout each week. A new slime does drop, but they also do offer monthly subscription boxes. So this is $35 every single month you get charged and they send you one to three slimes just depending on what they're releasing. And it's really cool because you can custom build the slime and you can play around with it. And don't ask me what you do when you're done with the slime. I don't know. I know they sell like large containers that you could put the slime back in, but this is my first time. So I legit have no idea. I just finally was able to get my hands on the monthly subscription box. You guys have no idea. I sat at my computer and I was just like, I want it. I want it. And I finally got it. And I was just like, ah, I screamed. I told Corey, I finally got my hands on this damn box. I have been trying since May to get the subscription box and I could never get it because it's so in demand. But um, yeah, I mean, Snoop Slimes, if you guys ever come across this video and you want to like send me some slime, hey, I'm all about it. But legit guys, I cannot wait to play this with you guys. So so I'm going to go ahead and just open this up. We're going to chit chat, but here we have the slime box. It says poke it, stretch it, squeeze it, pop it, enjoy the satisfaction. Oh, bitch, I will. And when you open it, 
we have three slimes in here. So it does come with like a little slime care kit. So this is the September box. And next box is going to include the rainbow bagel, the whipped strawberry milk, and the cloud bread right here. And it also has some extra goodies in here. So it also comes with some Warhead Sour Cubes, okay. It comes with a little like putty. This goes with the milk right here. And then it does come with a little bagel that you can put on top of the rainbow bagel and a little chocolate muffin. Okay, so let me open this up because I'm so intrigued. Now I really like it is that this company does show you how they put together the slimes. So, like if you wanna build it just like them, they do have videos on it. Okay, so it does say how to like take care of this. Okay, so it says slime care guide. Before you start playing with your slime, poke your slime with one finger to check its consistency. Store the slime inside of its original container once you're done playing. Okay, your slime may arrive sticky or stiff due to weather. Ooh. It says to make your slime activator, dissolve a full bag of Barox powder that is included in your order with one half cup of water. I don't understand, I'm so, okay, so we have like this powder right here. <laughs> um, I promise it's a slime activator and nothing else. Okay, so I don't know. Oh, this is just supposed to help it if like your slime is sticky or your slime is stick. A slit stiff stiff this is supposed to help it in case your slime comes in any other way than what's supposed to okay i like why there's a big thing that says slime is not edible do not consume keep slime away from sensitive skin small children pets clothes and furniture okay so i don't know if i really need this right now but um just in case it's there but i think these are i think these candies are just for like us to consume i hope and then it's just like a little squishy little thing to squish but um yeah i really am into slime and kinetic sand and a lot of stuff asmr and it just really kind of helps me to relax and like you know unwind and just kind of like let my anxiety go in any shape or form so i wanted to just sit back right today and just play with some slime with you guys talk to you guys and just hang out with my friends because well, I think we're all entitled to lazy days. So the first thing I wanna dive into is this whipped strawberry milk. Now I'm gonna open it to see how it smells. Ooh. Oh, wow. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is so cool. Smell, wow, uh, wow, wow. I said smell it. Like, can you guys smell? Can you smell? Okay, so this is what you put on top of it. Oh my God. Okay, I gotta get this out and then I gotta put it in that slime. This is so cool. Oh my God. How is this not edible? This smells like it is freaking edible. So this past weekend has been a very, very long weekend. Um, we have had a lot of troubles with our freaking upstairs neighbors. I can't stand our upstairs neighbors with such a passion. They have been hell from when we moved in here over a year ago and they've caused a lot of troubles not just for us for the tenants that lived here before us and for the leasing office like the leasing office is not a fan of them either so um i do know that like they as of right now they're taking care of the situation finally but it's just been so exhausting like we've barely gotten sleep because of how loud they've been it's just been pure hell and then on top of that you know we've had callie that was really really sick and uh so i think I like put it on here. <laughs> Looks like shit. Okay. This is so satisfying. 
Okay, so you know how like last week I was telling you guys that Callie was really, really sick? Well, we took her to the vet finally. So we went on Thursday, come to find out that the vet that we um, went to, they didn't have our actual appointment. Now the vet we went to is not our actual vet. Our actual vet is super kind. I love our veterinarian. We've known her from the moment that we got Kaya and she knows us really, really, really well. And you know, they're, they're getting so popular that they're getting really, really full. And unfortunately our pets always get sick during the holiday weekend. So we had to book a different location for Callie, but we went there and they said, mm, you don't have an appointment here. We're like, yes, we do. It's at 8 30. They go, sorry, we don't. So we got really upset because we're not going to sit here and fight these people on it and because we knew that the very next day we had Koa who had a vet appointment on his own because he was getting his one-year-old shot. He was getting his distemper, his Bordetella, his three-year AB shot. So we're like, we called them and we're like, is it okay if we just have Callie join? Like she's been really sick. This is what's going on. And they said, absolutely. So we brought Callie into the vet and, um, oh my God, guys, this is so satisfying. So we brought Callie to the vet and they um, they were checking out her vitals. She she was acting completely okay. The only thing is that she's having a hard time jumping up and getting her food and stuff like that. So they took her vitals, they did blood work, they took a urine sample and they said, we'll call you the very next day. So we never got a phone call the very next day because the very next day was Saturday. And I didn't really expect to get a phone call the next day because it just is one of those things where it doesn't always happen when you want it to. So we got a call this morning and the veterinarian's like we got Callie's blood work uh her blood work came back fine but we weren't sure um if you want to come in and talk to us so we said absolutely come in and talk to us now originally the veterinarian we when we talked to her she said that Callie could have very well had a stroke you know she's 13 years old she is considered an elder cat but she's not considered like an elder cat I need to take my rings off for this but like she's not considered an elder cat like she still has like a lot of time to go like she's 13 but most cats can live anywhere between like 18 to 20 years, depending on how we take care of them. And you know, she's a really, really healthy cat. And so the blood work came back and they said that her organs were completely fine, a hundred percent completely fine. And she believes, but it's really hard to tell that Callie got into some sort of toxins, whether she was ate a spider or it was something from pest control. Cause like literally the day before Callie got sick, there's pest control all over my complex spraying like this chemical. Now it was all outside and Callie doesn't go anywhere near outside, but that doesn't mean we didn't track something in our shoes and she somehow consumed it. And the veterinarian was just kind of concerned about that, but her blood work showed no trace of that. Now, the only thing that showed any trace of something is her bladder. Her urine sample did show some sort of bacteria in it, but not enough to cause concern or put her on antibiotics. So now we're on kitty litter watch and we have to see how her urine is. If she's frequently urinating, if she's urinating a lot, if she's not peeing at all. So we have to keep a watch on that. But you know, the vet did say that she was just a tiny bit concerned because Callie does have neurological damage from when she was a from when she was a kitten so she wasn't sure if maybe that's what caused the issues was you know because she already had sustained neurological damage when she was a kitten if like the toxins activated or what but it was really really hard to tell and you know she said you know next time you're more than welcome to bring the cat in i said well I, I thought you guys have to have an appointment and stuff like that and she said no you don't need an appointment for situations like this you go ahead and bring her in you i've been a thrive member for so long now you do not have to worry about that you just come right on and we'll take good care of her and she was so sweet so kind and i just want to thank each and every single one of you guys for being so sweet and kind and understanding um i was really really unsure of what was happening um i guess the doctor said i did a really really good job of taking really good care of her monitoring her like i barely left my house like i literally sat next to kelly so much i literally followed her i got i brought water to her i fed her every hour like i was so diligent on making sure that she was okay and i think the vet said that by doing that and by monitoring her i was able to probably help her rid her of her toxins but unfortunately with it being out of her system it's really hard to tell what she had and what she didn't have so I just want to thank you guys for being so sweet and kind because it was like a really, really stressful time dealing with that. And then, you know, we have our wedding lesson or a month away. Our wedding is like literally a month away. And whew, it's just been, it's just been so much to deal with. And oh, this is just so like, guys, I can't even begin to describe the smell of this. The smell is just so good. I am just loving just squeezing the crap out of this now it is a little sticky i should have added the activator but um i didn't <laughs> and i'm pretty sure there's a lot of you out there who didn't do it either but this is just so like i mean just
So yeah, it was just, that was just a whole stressful weekend. And then we had to deal with our upstairs neighbors on top of that. And that was a whole new ball game, dealing with our upstairs neighbors on top of it. I just was just like, oh my God. And then we saw that UCF was having a football game. And if you guys have watched Outer Banks, the star of Outer Banks, John B, he's actually a UCF alumni, so am I. And he was gonna go to the game and me and Corey are like, well, you know what? It's Saturday night. Our upstairs neighbors are freaking atrocious. Do you want to go to the game? And he's like, sure. And we looked at tickets for like $13. So we're like, we'll go. Bring our mask. Go sit start far away in the stand. So we get so we get there. And as we get there, there was a guy standing out in front of where you do like your back check and everything like that. And he's like, hey, I'm not staying. Do you guys want my you guys want my tickets? We're like, well, we have some. And he goes, no, it's for the tower seating. And I was like, the tower? He goes, yeah, right there. And I was like, you sure? He goes, yep. Yeah. So he literally gave us his tickets and we got brought up to the tower, which is like $250 tickets. Like that's where you're sitting at, but your seats are like right under the suites and food and drinks are included. So we're like, oh my God, like who are we, these bougie people? Like we had so much fun and it was actually on September 11th and both bands from the UCF and the Wildcats came together and they played um, Amazing Grace and God Bless America in honor of all those who had fallen during the trade center and it was very very sweet it was very very fun energetic game ucf kicked ass they won and they're now in the big 12 they're in the now in the big 12 and i had always wanted to go to a, a college football game back when i was in ucf but i never got a chance to go just because it didn't work out because i was working at books a million i was working at ulta and i was going to school three days a week so i was a full-time student Full-time employee at Ulta, full-time employee at Million. I legit did not have time. Like, never had time to go to a game because I'd literally have to drive. Um, I literally have to work in the morning, from 6 to 12, and then I'd have to drive all the way out to UCF, which is about an hour away from where I worked. Worked, went to school there until about 4.30, drove all the way back to close my shift at Ulta. It was exhausting. And then I had to do schoolwork in between there, so I never had a chance to go to a game. Well, I graduated long ago. <laughs> I did so much of my degree, just saying. And uh, I've always just was kind of bummed I never got a chance to go there. And then Corey actually is a UCF Knight. He's actually going in there for coding. And uh, he's, he's so excited. He never thought he'd see the day where he'd be at you know UCF, never be at, a, at an actual college besides like a community college. Like he was so proud of himself for being at a state university. So he's like, can we go to the game? And I was like, yeah, it was so much fun. And then of course, John B was there. That's what my JJ did, just stretched like that. <laughs> no, it was actually a lot of fun. We had a lot of fun. Guys, I don't want to stop playing with this. This is so good. What's slime even made out of? It says, slime is glue, dirty, oily, and warm hands will result in the slime sticking a lot more to you. To prevent this, wash your hands thoroughly with cold water before playing with the slime. Oh, oh it just says, this is just glue. Okay, so I tried putting it back in here. I don't really know how I can get it to go flat. <laughs> I don't know if I can. Okay, so the next one we have is cloud bread. Oh my god, this smells so good. My hair is just such a mess. Okay, so the texture on this feels so weird. It's very like Oh, whoa. It's weird because this one has like texture in it. Wow. <laughs> wow. This one smells so good. And this one is like so soft. I'm glad you guys are like, 
I hope you guys like this type of style video. I just wanted to sit back, relax, and just like talk to you guys and play with some slime. And this is completely like melting over. <laughs> but I just really wanted to just play with some slime, talk to you guys, and just sit back and relax. Like there's just some days where I really just don't feel like putting on makeup. And today is just one of those days. Especially since I know that like the next 10 videos are all makeup related. It's nice to like just do something a little different. Um, I really do want to play with the idea of doing Vlogoween. You guys all suggested I did the title Vlogoween. So I think that's what I'm going to do is vlogoween but I will say that I'm not going to vlog every single day in October I am going to take off a couple days because I am getting married in October so the week that I'm getting married instead of having a vlog come out every day or like a video come out every day I'm just going to make one long one long vlog for you guys and then I'm obviously going to post my wedding video for you guys but I just figured that way it's easier when I'm actually like up there I don't have to stress about trying to get videos up for you guys still each day I'll just like post a longer vlog to make up for it but I just you know only see everybody do vlog I always see everybody do um vlogmas I obviously partic participate in vlogmas myself but my favorite holiday is Halloween so like why not film like a Halloween vlogmas style stuff so it's gonna be just like vlogmas but vlogoween where I post a video pretty much every single day I might not be as religious with it as I was like um vlogmas but it's still gonna be so much fun guys do not see how like addicting this is oh my god if you guys have kids like seriously <sighs> this smells so damn good this one was a little bit easier to put back in but um this one <laughs> has like overflowed it's overflowed then the last one we have is this rainbow bagel so I don't know how this one doesn't smell as good okay ooh this one's definitely more like smooth and slimy oh wow look at that okay oh okay so I'm gonna take this Okay, so we have it like this. It's not the entire slime. I have like the other half of the slime over here. And then it's like, comes with like sprinkles. And then you take the sprinkles. Ta-da! And then you're just supposed to put this back in the container and like, the bagel sits up here and then you just kind of <gasps> what the heck It's kinetic sand. Whoa. It does kind of smell like a weird cream cheese. That's so weird. Now, I've seen a lot of people in my comment section asking me if I heard anything back from Disney. And I keep repeating myself, and I'm sorry that I do. But, guys, I haven't heard anything, and I honestly don't think I'm going to. And that's okay. Like, I kind of expected it. It's kind of like why Corey and I kept our marriage a secret for so long because the company that we're at is kind of against married couples working together and you know it is what it is i can't change the company policy but we are just going to try to do this full time and if i can't i can't and i will go out there and go find a job somewhere like starbucks or something like that and just enjoy doing youtube like that's all i want to do is i'm trying to do this and make this work and we're going to do our best that we can but um yeah, I still see those comments all the time. People ask me if I heard anything back or whatnot. And no, I haven't. But you know what? I think everything happens for a reason. And I think the reason why I haven't heard anything is just because maybe this is what I'm meant to do. And this is the passion that I love so much. I'm trying to follow it. So, yeah. Um, I also I told you guys in my last video that I was reading Verity. Well, I, I completely finished Verity. And now I am reading these seven husbands of Evelyn Hugh and I just started it so I don't know how well it is but I've been seeing it all over like book talk where people are like saying it's so emotional it's gonna make you cry so like that's where like I'm starting it right now and uh 
yeah, I'll definitely let you guys know how well I like that. And yeah, this is kind of nice. This is just really nice. I've been so tired. Uh, we haven't, like I said, gotten to sleep much because we're upstairs neighbors and we just have so much that we're physically doing for our wedding and planning everything. And I just didn't realize like how much like actually goes in it. Like I think right now Corey is finishing up the arch because we custom built our own wedding arch and there's just a lot that actually goes into it that i just did not expect and especially since we're doing everything like on a budget that we well that's what we're doing like most of it, everything ourselves because we, we want to be on we want to remain on a budget but it's just been that's been so stressful I get everything like you know narrowed down and like we started getting back wedding invitations and there are some people who legit never put their name on it and I'm like, how am I supposed to know who is who if you won't put your name on the Dan um, wedding invitation like that, that I know that like it's it's you coming. Ugh, it has just been so stressful. And I just, you know, really just appreciate you guys just being here and allowing me to be myself. And for those of you who don't want to watch a style video, I do apologize. But this is just kind of like me showing you guys kind of like behind the scenes of like what I do when I'm not filming. Like this is me. Like this is me. And this is what I do. I, I love playing with slime. I love playing with kinetic sand. I love watching ASMR, listening to ASMR. I would really love to get into it um, on my own just because I feel like ASMR is just so relaxing and it's just like so underrated and I used to be so embarrassed about talking about ASMR for so long because people I always felt like looked at you like oh you're so weird but it's to me it's not weird it's just so relaxing like literally I have to put it on to go to sleep like to take naps I put on ASMR and um it's something that I love to dive into at some point, whether I create a second channel for it or I do it on TikTok. Like ASMR is something that I've always wanted to do. And yeah, this is kind of like, kind of like my first step. How would you not want, how could you not want to play with slime? But um, yeah, I just wanted to do something completely different today where I just sit back, relax, and just play with some slime and just sit here and just talk to you guys. It's kind of nice just to like not always have on a full face because there are just days where you don't want to put on makeup. And right now, I do not feel like putting on makeup in the slightest. <laughs> so um, yeah, that's really, I think, like all I have to say right now. Um, I think I caught, I caught you guys up with my upstairs neighbors, my cats, my wedding, my job. I don't think I have too much more to say other than just buckle up guys because I have a lot of videos coming at you. They're, most of them are actually going to be, I know I have three or four eyeshadow palette reviews alone to film. I saw my full face of, of makeup from Ulta to film for you guys. Like that's, that's coming. And I have a little mini PR haul again. I have an anti haul coming. I have my boxy charm versus Ipsy battle of boxes. Uh, I actually got sent a mystery box from ColourPop. ColourPop actually sent me my mystery box, so I have that to film for you guys. And then I want to bring in my like makeup and mystery series. I've already been like doing some research on my very first topic because um, I think they're so much fun. But just please be mindful, guys, when I film that for you guys. Just know that it's all in good fun. I'm never going to tell you guys what my opinion is when I'm telling the story because I'm just going to be telling the story from like a like an outsider's perspective just telling you the story it doesn't mean that it correlates with my own opinion but uh some people think that it does like when i talk about the hell the hollow earth theory some people got really upset with me and i'm like it's just a theory just meant to have fun and just be an engaging conversation so yeah i definitely have my hands full especially with trying to do vlog of vlogoween um i will try to do some holly makeup looks i don't know if i'm going to be able to it's so hard to come up with Halloween makeup looks that isn't already done. And I am not skilled like in that type of way in any way, shape or form. I really do wish I was, but I'm, I'm not. And it really, it really is such a bummer. But I love like last year when I did Mrs. Doubtfire and I did Darla from Finding Nemo. Like that type of Halloween looks is what I really get into doing something that's like completely not pretty if that's the best way to put it I because I like to have fun with Halloween costumes like everybody likes to go the really sexy scary route and I'm like let me go um the very fun easy to do five minute out the door route because most times when people go to Halloween events they're scrambling to find their Halloween costume last minute and I just want to show that you can do it in five minutes or less with very 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 little items so just I was just saying I was like I, I think that's all no there's one more thing that I forgot to tell you guys I am doing some more mystery boxes so I have so much fun doing mystery boxes on 
on my Macari account, which I do have Macari. It's at Allie Dawson 89 or just Allie Dawson. You guys should be able to find me on there, but I'll make sure I link it down below. But I'm curating, I think it's like 10 more mystery boxes. I'm not sure they're all over there, but when I get everything ready to go, I'll make sure I let you guys know about it. But I have some like really cool stuff. I have like a pink box theme, like a blue box theme, um, purple theme, like where like everything kind of like correlates, even if like the product itself is not purple, but the box is like, I put that in there. So I'll make sure I let you guys know when that goes live, but I'm not going to call it mystery box on Macari because like, I don't want to get in trouble. So I'm just going to call it like make a bundle one make a bundle two that way you guys that way i can like try to get away with it with makari without getting in trouble so like i said like guys know when that goes live but i had so much fun during mystery boxes last time so i definitely want to keep doing them because i just think they're so much fun and it's just a great way of me um making sure i rotate out my makeup and stuff like that so nothing just sits here and just like goes to waste i'm gonna go ahead and end the video here this is my first time doing something like this i don't know how well this video is going to turn out or if anyone's really going to watch it i just wanted to just play with some slime talk to you guys about this little cool slime box talk to you guys about my life um I'll link this company down below. Like I said, they do offer a monthly subscription box that does come out every single month. I believe it launches on the 6th of every month is when they launch their um, boxes. And they usually come with three slimes with all the items and how to make the slime looks just like how they design it. And they're so fun. Um, I don't know how long these last for. I cannot tell you. I'll be able to tell you guys in my next video that I, if I do another video of this, of how long the slime lasts for. I would assume it doesn't last very long. I would assume it lasts for like a month or so and then it does dry up and dissolve and whatnot. But regardless, they're so much fun to play with. Her website offers so many different types of slimes on there, different types of slimes and textures. Granted, almost everything is sold out, but she does announce on her page when things are coming back to restock. You just kind of have to be on top of it. And they shipped out really fast, really easily. And yeah, this has been so much fun. This has also just been so relaxing, just playing with slime and enjoying it. So that is it for today's video guys hopefully you guys like this video if you do please make sure you guys give this video a cheeky thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you guys have not already because i do post three to four mostly five times a week please make sure you guys head over to my other channels are for the life you guys get to see my cool wonderful ventures my amazing husband Corey, and a huge huge thank you to all these beautiful patron members that you guys see right here thank you guys so much for everything and to my subscribers and viewers thank you guys so much for clicking on this video whether you guys like this video you guys thumbs down this video you guys subscribed you guys did not subscribe either way thank you guys so much for being here i love and appreciate each and every single one of you and yeah stay tuned to tomorrow's video where i go right back into my makeup content but other than that guys i love you and i'll see you guys in the very next video bye